For assignment four, I chose to research the work of Steve McCurry. His work in contemporary photography has been around for 30 years and has been featured in magazines, books, and exhibitions all over the world. He was born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania and attended Penn State University where he majored in film. His love for photography began when he started taking pictures for the local Penn State newspaper. After college, he worked at Today's Post in King of Prussia and then left in 1978 to do freelance in India and Afghanistan, where his career took off. His work mainly consists of conflicts, vanishing cultures, ancient traditions, and cultures within six continents. One of his most iconic photographs of his as well as in the history of National Geographic magazine is the Afghan girl. It was a head-on portrait taken in 1984 in a refugee camp in Pakistan of Sharbat Gula, a girl with piercing green eyes staring intensely at the camera wearing a red headscarf that was on the cover of National Geographic. She was photographed during the Soviet occupation of Afghanistan and this photo has been nicknamed the first world's third world Mona Lisa. The photo is especially striking due to the girl's green eyes and her red headscarf since those are both complementary colors. Although the subject isn't in the direct center, my eyes go straight to her upon first glance. The next photograph is called Bicycles Hang on the Side of a Train. It was taken in West Bengal in 1983. This picture tells a story and gives the audience the power to use their own imagination. It explores the lives of everyday people in West Bengal. One could separate this photo into four photos, separating each window in a different photo, and have the audience wondering, where are they going? How are the travelers feeling? The next photo shows a mother and her child looking in through a taxi window. It was taken in Bombay, India in 1993. Steve McCurry took this photo by chance when sitting in a taxi at a red light during a monsoon within a span of 10 seconds. In my opinion, this photo symbolizes the separation between his world and that mother and her child's world. He was safe and dry in a car while she was out in the rain trying to find shelter. The child's eyes are the first thing I see when I look at this photo. Through contemporary photography, McCurry has been able to create new perspectives on traditional subjects and compositions by shooting in both film and digital. It is no surprise that he has received some of the most prestigious awards in the industry. His photographs bring out about a range of emotions from joy, sadness, and even sometimes anger to the audience to prove that art can provoke emotion. This quote by Steve McCurry really stuck out to me and shows me how passionate he, has, he is about photography. What is important to my work is the individual picture. I photograph stories on assignment, and of course they have to be put together coherently, but what matters most is that each picture, picture stands on its own, with its own place and feeling. Steve McCurry's photos have shown me how powerful one single photo can truly be.